Okay. For this video, pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa integers at operations ng integers. When we say integers, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. <coughs> Again, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So, for example, yung mga nakikita niyo sa right side, yung naka R na black, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, those are positive whole numbers. Then sa left, yung naka red na arrow, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on, those are negative whole numbers. Again, yung integers, those are whole numbers, either positive or negative. So, pag-aralan natin yung operations of integers, let's start with addition of integers. So, these are the rules of addition of integers or yung mga alituntunin sa pag-aad ng mga integers. If we are adding numbers with the same sign or kung ang sign ng dalawang number na ina-add natin is parehong positive, all we have to do is to add the numbers and then kopyahin yung common sign. So, let's say we have positive plus positive. So, let's add the given number and then kopyahin natin yung common sign nila which is positive. If the given numbers naman ay may sign na negative plus negative, so all we have to do is to add those numbers and then kopyahin natin yung common sign nila which is negative. If the, give, the sign of the given numbers are unlike sign. So, let's say we have positive plus negative. So, una natin gagawin is titignan kung alin sa dalawang given na yun yung mas mataas na number. And then, subtract the given numbers. So, all we have to do is to subtract the numbers and then copy the sign of the bigger number. So, let's see dito, mas mataas yung may positive na sign. So, Go copy natin or gagayahin natin yung sign ng positive number. If ever yung may negative sign yung mas mataas na number, so the sign of our sum will be negative. Okay? So, for example, we have here 20 plus 10. So, if you see, no, pareho silang positive numbers. By the way, Pag wala kayo nakikita ng numbers beside, or pag wala kayo nakikita ng sign beside the number on the left side, meaning non-positive siya. It's understand na positive siya. So, 20 plus 10, that is 30. And then, the sign is positive. We don't need to write any more positive because it's understandable na positive siya. Another example is negative 40 plus negative 60. So, again, according to the rule, to add numbers with the same sign, all we have to do is to add the number, add the given number, and copy the common sign. So, for this example, let's add negative 40 to negative 60, that is 100, and then copy the common sign, which is negative. Yun. So, negative 100. Alright, so let's proceed now to subtraction of integers. Okay. So, this is the rules for subtraction of integers. First, change the subtraction sign to an addition sign. Change the sign of the second number. Or, ibig sabihin, change the sign of the subtrahend. Or, a shortcut to that, add the opposite. Ibig sabihin, pag may nakita kayong numbers na si isa subtract, Pero magkaiba sila ng sign, all you have to do is i-add nyo siya. Okay? So, let's say, we have here negative 3 minus 4. As you can see, magkaiba sila ng sign. So, according dun sa rule, i-change natin yung minus to addition sign. And then, i-change natin yung um, sign na subtrahin na positive and to negative. And then, proceed the rule of addition, which is add. So, negative 3 plus negative 4, that is 7. And copy the common sign, which is negative. 
Another example, we have 15 minus negative 9. So, magkaiba sila na, um, magkaiba sila na sign. Then, all we have to do is change, uh, add because 15 minus negative 9 change the sign of the subtahin negative to positive. So, nagiging positive na siya at nagiging pareho na sila na sign. So, i-add na natin yung 15 to 9 and then copy their common sign which is positive. Kaya yung answer natin is positive 24. So, let's go now to um, multiplication of integers. The rules for multiplication of integers are Rule 1. When multiply integers with the same sign, the product is positive. Rule 2. When multiply, when multiply integers with different signs, the product is negative. So, in other words, kapag nakikita tayo ng dalawang number or ng mga numbers na ita times, with the same sign, regardless kung puro positive or puro negative, yung sign na magiging product natin is positive. So, like, positive times positive is equal to positive. If this negative sign naman sila, or unlike sign sila, so positive times negative, the sign of our product will be negative. Negative times positive, the unlike sign pa rin sila, the sign of our product will be negative. And negative times negative, dahil pareho sila ng sign, ibig sabihin, the product natin will be positive. For example, we have negative 2 times negative 3. So, pareho sila ng sign, di ba? According to the rule, kapag nagmumultiply ka ng number na pareho ng sign, ang sign na magiging product mo will be positive. So, 2 times 3, 6, then, ibig sabihin, positive 6 yung ating answer. Another example, we have negative 22 times 2. So, unlike sign sila, according to the rule, kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng number na unlike sign, yung sign na magiging product natin will be negative. So, 22 times 2 is equal to 44. And since negative times positive is negative. So, that's ganyan ang pag-multiply ng uh, multiplication of integers. No? Another example or let's proceed now to division of integers. So, rule 1. When dividing integers with the same sign, the quotient is positive. Rule 2. When, divi when dividing integers with different signs, the quotient is negative. So, pansin nyo, parehas na sila ng multiplication ng rules. Ang pagkaiba lang is here's the divisions of integers. All we have to do is to divide. So, pag nakita natin negative divided by negative, so the sign of our quotient will be positive. Positive divided by positive, the sign of ating sagot is positive. Positive divided by negative, the sign of ating sagot is negative. Negative divided by positive, our answer will be negative. For example, we have 12 divided by negative 4. So, magkaiba sila ng sign. Kasi, positive yung sign ng 12. Okay, so, 12 divided by negative 4 is 3. And the sign is negative. Kasi, positive divided by negative is negative. So, for our second example, we have negative 12 divided by negative 4. So, napansin nyo, magka-same magka sila or magkapareho sila ng sign. So, according to the rule, kapag nag-divide tayo ng numbers na magkapareho ng sign, our quotient will be positive. So, negative 12 divided by negative 4, our quotient will be positive 3. And the last one is negative 30 divided by 3. So, magkaiba sila ng sign or unlike sign. So, according to the rule, kapag magkaiba ng sign, 
ang sagot or ang sign ng ating sagot is negative. So, negative 30 divided by 3 is equal to negative 10.